This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. If you are a maker, a tinkerer, or a ham radio kit designer, and you haven't checked out PCBWay, you could be missing out. They obviously produce full-featured printed circuit boards, including flexible circuit boards with tons of materials and options. Now they offer basically everything you need to turn your ideas into reality, which includes 3D printing, injection molding, CNC manufacturing, or just plain old PCB board manufacturing. They do it all for competitive prices. Check out the link in the description below to support this channel, and thank you, PCB Way. That's it. That's it. All right, I'm done. CQ, my call sign, I'm done. Thanks for joining today, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, did you hear that? Let me know how the volume is on that, because I've got a second microphone kind of sitting next to it. Yeah. In fact, that microphone picks up a lot of noise. I had to turn my air conditioner off, so if I start sweating, don't worry about it. It's partially because I'm nervous about de doing CW, and it's partially because it's hot in here because my... Uh, Air conditioner's off, so. Ham Radio 2.0 lunchtime live stream. How is that for um, uh, practicing um, a little bit? So, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. Uh, hey, guys, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I like um, these lunchtime live streams are fine. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, these lunchtime live streams are pretty good, uh, but they're... Okay, Charlie Charlie said, audio not, and then he says, there, audio not there, audio good, not bad. Your CW audio is just a touch low. Okay, I can turn that up. That's fine. Let's see. Okay. Nope, that's CQ. No, that's KQ. KC. There it is. Right there. Boom. Okay. Uh, turn it up a bit. I'll turn it up some more. It's fine. All right. So the, I, I, I'm going to have to mute that microphone when I'm not using it, though. But long story short, um, been wanting to le learn CW for a while. I took a class at CW Academy at the beginning of 2022. I'm sorry, beginning of 2020. It was, it was like an eight-week-long class. It started in January, and it went basically through the end of February. I was there. It was twice a week. I think it was Mondays and Thursdays, I think, was the nights I was doing it. But they have different options and whatnot. So uh, I did that. I missed a week or two because in the middle of February is Orlando Hamcation. And then shortly after that is when COVID started. You know, I schedule got all jumbled up so i never went back. i wanted to go back and take that class again but i never did it um maybe i'll do it's a free class maybe i'll do that again one of these days but uh but we were out at the grand canyon last month yeah it's last month now because today's august and i was watching kyle and adam and charlie and um there's somebody else there doing cw i feel like but uh they were they were obviously pretty good at it in fact i recorded a video of kyle doing cw kyle's in the chat by the way everybody say hi to aa zero z i recorded a video and i put it on one of my daily vlogs about kyle doing cw and he, he he watched it the next day and he's like dude why did you get me messing up and i'm like how would i know you messed up <laughs> all i hear is so i have no idea what i'm listening to so uh but copying is the hard part for me i think that's true for a lot of people uh i say that to people and people say oh yeah yeah that's yeah yeah, yeah, that's that's the hardest part to learn, maybe. But um, for me, it's copy. I, yeah, you know, during the the eight week course of of taking the CW Ops class, you know, I was fairly decent at sending. And of course, if I'm sending, since it's already in my head, I was like, okay, this is the letter K, this is the letter C, this is the number five. Since I'm doing that, I I know what I'm sending, and I can copy what I'm sending because it's already in my head before I know I'm tapping it out. But it, but if someone else sends back to me, I'm like, okay, I, I, I caught a C in there somewhere. I think that's a nine. Uh, that was a question mark, which I don't know symbols at all, so I have no idea what you just said. That kind of thing. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Ken, I am not on the air. No, we're just using um, 
I'm using this uh, Heathkit uh, electronic keyer thing right now. It just it just makes noise. Yeah, you can plug it into a radio with some of the ports on the back here. I've never done that, but I'm just no. It's just a practice key, is what it is. My key that I will be using once I get on the air is this N3 ZN uh, ZL Light ZL Light or ZT Light, one of them. Two key from N3 ZN. I picked this up in after Hamcation. And this is a really nice key. It's it's lightweight. It might be a little bit too lightweight for somebody who bangs on the paddles, um, but it's. I mean, you could you could obviously take that portable since it's lightweight. So it's a it's a toss up whether you want to use if you want to use it at home and really hit the paddles real hard. It's not great. But if you want to, if you don't hit the paddles hard, then it's fine. And if you uh, don't, um, if you want to take it out and go somewhere that's not lightweight, it's uh, it's good too. I should have brought that key. I guess Charlie. I should have brought that key last month, but uh, maybe I'll bring that key to um, our next meetup in January. You know what I'm talking about. Mm. So, okay. Why don't you start with the straight key? I don't like the straight key. I don't like the straight key. Um, I've tried it. I just think that the, you like, like this one here, I, I think is like most keys. Like if I hold this down... That's that's Dawes, obviously. If I hold the other one down, so if I want to do five in a row, I just hold the left paddle down. Five in a row, four in a row, an S, a I, and an E. So that's a five. Uh, if I want to do a zero, I just hold the paddle down. So to me, the straight key is not as easy, but everybody's different. There's nothing wrong with the straight key. I'm just trying to learn freaking Morse code right now. I'm not trying to get all straight key century club, you know, you know, 35 words a minute and all this crap. I just once I learned the code, then maybe I'll try a different key and see which one I like better. But the iambic seemed like the most logical one to me for for how my I know that my mind and fingers work together. So um, people might disagree with that. That's okay. If you're doing Morse code, you're doing better than I am. I don't care what kind of key you're using. Okay. So for me, I just wanted to start with this and. And uh, and go from there. So um, I did want to s uh, a couple of things here. Number one, I'm going to go through the whole alphabet here in a minute. So you guys get, get see how much I screw that up. But I'll tell you right now, um, this is the push to talk to win event that we talked about on the happy hour the other night. Gigaparts is going to sponsor this event. It's going to be a contest that is done during the Huntsville Ham Fest. Six people are going to stand around this machine they've built and hold two high old. PT, handheld PTT buttons, and the the last one to let go of one or both buttons wins, and the, there'll be door prizes that are won for that, and then at the end of the day, they're going to bring all six winners back and do it again, and the last one to let go of that, those keys um, wins $1,000 cash. So that's a, a, a kind of a cool contest thing we're doing at the Huntsville Ham Fest with Gigaparts. More to come on that later. Uh Let's see. I'll put this uh, put this link in the chat right there, and you guys can go read about that. I've got Huntsville Ham Fest t-shirts on my website. This one on the far left is for 2022. These three are left over from last year. Those are discounted right now. I've gotten, I mentioned those in my Friday shopping video last week. Got several people interested in those. So, yeah, so those are there. And moving on to, I wanted to talk about those two things really quick, but, and Kyle turned me on to this guy, this uh, Kurt Zogelman dude which I'm told is like cwninja.com or morseninja.com. It's one of those. I didn't see his website. I just searched uh, YouTube for him, and I pulled him up, and I sent the link to Kyle, and I said, is this who you're talking about? And he's like, yeah, that's it. So I've been listening to this. Turn this up a bit. W. Okay, let's uh, – you guys can't hear that. Let's – L. Oh, you can hear it. T. 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 Okay. J. 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 So, what he does is, is he is he does the Morse code. He says verbally what the letter is, then he does the Morse code again, and then it gives you what he calls a courtesy tone. And um, 
and it's re and it's like a two and a half hour video, and he just does that at random. Single letters goes through the whole alphabet, no numbers, no punctuation, no. Um, it's all single letters. It's, it's he's got another one that does double letters. It will do like L I or Z L or J A or something. It just double two letters put together that make no sense. So it's not state. He does he has one for state abbreviations. That one's cool, um, but he has this one just just single letters. So I've been I've been going to bed at night. Putting ed headphones in my in my ears, and laying the phone on the charger on my nightstand, and just letting that play. And usually I'll kind of doze off, and I wake up, I'll be like, "Well, I just missed the last ten minutes," and then I'll turn it off and go to sleep. So, but that has been for me that has been quite helpful to just learn how to listen. And this is at twenty words per minute, and he's got some that he's got he's got them all the way down to like ten. It's got like ten, twelve, fifteen, seventeen, and twenty words a minute. I think he's got a 22 or 25 word minute. He's got a 30 word minute. And I, I listened to the 30 last night and I'm like, oh, let's get the 21st. I think if I could send and receive at 20 words a minute, I think I'd be okay. I think naturally, once you just start doing it, you'll get faster. Um, that's how I am with typing. When I started typing, I was real slow when I was in like high school. And now I can type. I'm not a speed demon when it comes to typing, but I can type faster than I used to be able to type when I was in high school. So, yeah, 20 words a minute. You know, I didn't want to start out real um I didn't want to start out real slow. In fact, I've heard people back when I first got licensed, I went to a couple of CW classes and people were like, "Look, don't start at 5 words a minute," which was not required for a uh, novice license back then. And then I think the next one up Tech Plus was 10 words a minute. And general I think was 15 words a minute if I'm not They said start at 15 words a minute. Start at 15 words a minute and cuz it's harder to upgrade than it is to just start at the higher level. I don't know if that's true or not. Everyone learns differently. I'm sure that's probably true for some people. But, you know, I just kind of listened to this 20-word a minute, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds good to me. I can I can do that. So I, uh, I, uh, that, that's what I did there. So there's a spam risk coming in right now. Spam, spam risk. I think I'm going to ixnay that call. Okay. Kurt is fast, too fast. Well, he's got different levels. But maybe, maybe you're talking about him actually calling CQ, but um, he's got he's got slow videos on that too. He's got a bunch. Of, somebody said a minute ago he's got hundreds of videos. He really does. Yeah, he's got uh, a bunch of different stuff on here. So that's this is how this is how I this is what I've been doing since we got back from the grant. In fact, I put this on the on the Bluetooth stereo driving home with Mike, and he's like, "Hey, that's a great idea." So driving home, we were listening. We listened to this for like 30 minutes. We're like, all right, that's enough. We're going to turn it off. And then in about an hour later, we'd do it again. So 13 words per minute for general. Okay, maybe that's what it was. I don't remember. Um, uh, as Kurt says, you should practice at a speed where you can count the dits and daws, where you cannot count the dits and daws. Well, I can see that. I guess I can see that. If you're trying for that instant recognition thing, that uh, that I hear a lot of people talk about. I guess I can see that. I don't know. Um, you're just recognizing patterns then. I don't know. I think, I don't know. I've been listening to 20. I'm happy with it. I listened to 30 yesterday, and I caught a few. Not as many, but I'm not proficient in 20 yet, so I don't know. We'll see. I guess it depends on what you're doing. So different for everybody, like I said. All right, so let's see. If I can, um, your brain works differently above 13 words a minute. You don't have time to visualize the dots and dashes. Well, I'm at 20, so. Okay, I don't know. I can visualize the dots and dashes at 20, at least when they're doing single letters. Now, you do the double, let, the double letter video he did. The first time I listened to that, I clicked on it by mistake. I thought I was clicking on the single letter video, and I, I, I listened to it. I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm like, Oh, that's two letters. Like, I got the first one, and the next one was just noise. So I'm like, oh, gosh, I can't do that yet. So I can't do, the Farnsworth is not spaced enough for me. <laughs> so I need, I need, dit da 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 da. Dit da da da. J. Dit da. A. Dit dit dit. S. I, know, I need it at that speed right now. But a uh, lot of space in between the letters. But yeah, anyway. So, to each his own, man. I'm learning CW. I suck, but I'm learning CW. So, let's do, um, uh, let's see. So, the letters. 
Okay, so I'm going to try to get through the alphabet. I can do I can do it. I did, I did it earlier, as long as I don't screw up. But uh, but here we go. Let me let me know if, uh, let me know how the volume is on this. A. B. C. C and Q should be the first two letters you use. Uh, you learn, in my opinion. I don't know. No, that that's I screwed that up. D. E. F. G. H. Nope, that's screwed up. I. So high, if you want to say high, it's four dits and two dits. Hi! <laughs> so, uh, so I, uh, J. Okay. Uh, K. L. Uh, kind of screwed that up. Okay, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, so U and V, U is two dits in a DAW, and V is three dits in a DAW. And to me, they they sound the same, or they can sound the same. When That's why I'm counting dits and DAWs in my head. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I don't know, but that's, that's how I'm doing that. So U, V, okay, W, X, Y, and Z. There we go. That's the whole alphabet. So I screwed up, what, three times? Shows everybody starts somewhere or we start on zero, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I started at negative two. But, um, yeah. Mike, Mike, uh, Mike just popped up. I meant to tell people this. Mike, are you still at the park? So I just got a ham alert 10 minutes before I went live that Mike was at the park at Huntsville State Park. You can always tell Mike is at a park when it's a day ending in Y. Okay, so is it Huntsville State Park on 14.318? Let, let us know if you're still there, Mike. I don't think I can get you from Grapevine to Huntsville on 20 meters in Texas, but uh, uh, yeah. You sounds like underwear. <laughs> That's good. So I always, I, I remember this from way back in the day. D is dog did it. Nope. Gosh. That is wrong. There it is. There it is. My, my key keeps moving on me. It's not heavy enough. I'm hitting it too hard. That's D. Dog did it. So, U is underwear. Mike says he just got home. All right. Sorry, man. I was going to tell people to come hunt you. It's probably too hot out there now. So, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not even trying to decipher that, dude. Sorry. Torsten. <laughs> Daw. Uh, I learned CW thanks to the United States Air Force back in the 80s. That's cool. Good deal. All right. So, um, numbers. Numbers are fairly easy. Um, there's basically only 10 numbers. It's 0 through 9. And you just, you just if you want to put numbers together, you can put 21 or 37 or 42 or however you want to do it. 73. Um, I don't know if there's numbers beyond that. Like, once you get into, like, triple and quadruple digits, if there's a is there's a an actual code for 1000 or if you just have to type 10000 I don't know I don't know like um like a part like doing a poda okay if i'm operating um poda 3713 you would just type 3713 you just do it that way but numbers in my mind numbers are easy because it's they're all, all numbers are five digits a combination of five dits and daws okay so zero is five daws that's zero. And then it starts on the dit, and it adds a dit in place of the first DAW. So it's a dit, and four DAWs is number one. And then two dits is number two. Two dits, three DAWs. Again, five characters. Three is four. And then five is five 
digits. Five digits. No, just ten digits, but there are cut numbers, T for zero, for example. Yeah, and I know you guys use 5NN a lot of the times in CW. Instead of tapping out 9, you tap out N, which is just dot it. So so I, I guess that's kind of a shortcut also. Cut number, yeah. Roland saying cut number. Red, uh, uh, Charlie saying cut number. Okay, good. Yeah, N for A for 1, N for 9, T for 0. Got it. Okay, I haven't got that far yet. I haven't got that far yet. So that was 5. 5 is 5 dits. Okay. And then you start and you put the DAW at the front. And 1 DAW for 6, 2 DAWs for 7, 3 DAWs for 8. And then it fills with dits after that until you get to 5. So 6 is 7, 8, 9, Nope, I screwed that up. Nine, and then zero is zero is five. So to me, that 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 just that kind of makes sense. It's easy to count that way. And I know you, you, some of you are saying, um, "Don't count," but that's how I'm doing. I'm I'm counting. Maybe it's not the best way. I don't know. That's how I'm going to do it. So you can, but you can count how many dits are at the. If it starts with a dit, it's going to be either one through five and if it starts with a DAW it's going to be six through zero okay and now once you get into instant recognition like like I can pretty much recognize D and A and K although I get K and R mixed up because K is DA dit DAW and R is dit DA dit see I get the way my mind my mind recognizes patterns so like L and F are opposites in my mind um because uh L is dit da dit dit, and F is da uh, dit dit da dit. I mean, they don't sound like opposites, but they sound like kind of like oh, th this one's on the left and this one's on the right. That's just kind of how it sounds like to me. I'm not saying that's correct. I'm just you know, but K R kind of sounds opposite to me. Um, A and N. A is and N is. Dit da and da dit. So to me, those sounds like opposite. I don't know. I tell, I said that to a guy one time. He's like, don't think of it that way. That'll screw you up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, if it's, uh, if it's, if, if there's a way to screw it up, I'm going to find it. I can guarantee you that. So uh, 180 people watching. Wow. Uh, what's the fastest CW that can be sent and read by machines? Heck if I know, man. That's a good question. I only mix up one through five and six through do zero regularly. Uh, that's understandable. You belong in my CW Academy fundamental class. I've taken that. Uh, what's up, Fred? I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Yeah, novice was five words a minute. That is correct. Do you think it's more natural with hands on the paddle or straight key? Your journey here is an inspiration. No, thank you. Um, <clears throat> as I said a minute ago, you might have not been here. I think the paddle is more natural. I think the iambic two paddle system is more natural for me. Okay. Now I'm going to liken this to uh, to firearms. So you guys who are not firearms nuts will have to forgive me. Sometimes I get asked, "Hey, what's the best handgun?" I'm like, "The best handgun for you is the one that fits in your hand because your hand is unique, and your hand may not be like someone else's hand. You know, people have big hands, small hands, longer fingers, shorter fingers, whatever." So shoot a few a few handheld pistols and see which one fits and best in your hand, and that's the best one for you. I think kind of using a key is the same way. What's the paddle called where it's iambic, but it's only one paddle? There's like a thing on there's like a pad on both the left and right, but it's but instead of having two paddles, it's one. There's a there's that style, there's this iambic style, and then there's a straight key style. Um and to me the straight straight key just seems kind of cumbersome. I don't know. That again, that's to me. If you learn on the straight key, then go. Hey man, do straight key. Cool. I'm gonna try the straight key someday, but I'm trying to actually learn the code right now. Uh, so that's that's what I that's how I'm that's how I'm approaching it right now. So uh Jason, you can always use W one A W code practice test. Yeah, yeah, I've I've listened to that once or twice. Record read call sign is two hundred words a minute. So Single level lever paddle. 
A bug. Some people say that's a bug. Okay. A bug. Okay. I've heard the term bug before. I always thought that was a straight key, but I said that to somebody one time. They're like, no, that's not a straight key. That's not a... So a bug is the one with the the paddle. The one paddle with the with the with the pad on both the left and right. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. Makes sense. So, um, yeah. So that's how I'm learning. That That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now to learn CW. Um, and I'm sending is, is, is all right. And I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to find one of these soda guys on soda one time and I'm going to hook up my radio and say, okay, guys, here it goes. Let's see if we can hear me. Um, and try to call my call sign and and like hopefully one of them are is recording it and they're like, did I just hear Jason on there? Wow, <laughs> should be an honor. I've never made. I have. I've been a ham radio operator for twenty years. I've never twenty eight years. I've never made a CW contact. But here's what's going to be probably probably the first time I ever actually try to activate anything with CW. Here's what it's going to be. No, that's not right. So let's start over again. See this? I'm already doing it. Nope. What was that? What's that? And there's a 30 second delay on YouTube, so you guys probably haven't heard that yet. But what is that? What did I just send? I have not used the Mor Morserino. Kyle did a build video one time on his channel, and uh, we did um, we built that thing, but I haven't actually actually used it yet. Jenna got it first. Very good. CQ Poda. <clears throat> Very good. CQ, CQ, Poda. So. Nope. Let's do that again. There you go. There's CQ, Soda. <laughs> uh, CQ, Poda. Thank you, William. Thank you, Jenna. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's funny you're mouthing the characters. <laughs> well, yeah, of course I am. Um. <laughs> That's awesome, Kyle. Jason just ordered a Jimmy John sandwich over Morse code. You know that new, you see that new Domino's commercial where somebody's ordering a pizza with their mind? Yeah, I think it's probably more likely to order something with Morse code than it is with your mind, but that's kind of my... That's that's my theory right there. So okay, somebody put your call sign in chat. Let's see if I can do a call sign. I'm just gonna scroll up and see one. Okay, N three J W, N three J W. Is that right? N three J W saw you up there. KB5 ZEQ. Oh, my, uh, yeah. Give me a challenge here. KB5 ZEQ. Holy crap. Okay. Nope. See, that's already screwed up. Okay. Nope. I already screwed that up. Okay. Hold on. Scroll. Chat scrolling. KB5 ZEQ. Sloppy, but it's there. Okay, N four J E H. That's a little bit better. D L three. Oh wow. D L three M H T. I think that's right. DL three MHG. W one FJF. Nope. Okay. 
do that one again. W1 FJF. There you go. That should be right. It's not fast, but that should be right. Okay. Uh, let's see. 2E0 at HFO. Okay, Simon, give me a challenge here. Okay. 2E0. 2E0. Wow, that one's that one's weird. Five DAWs in a row for zero, four dits in a row for H, and then four, I mean, three DAWs at the end for, for O. <clears throat> oh, boy. <clears throat> Phone Frank now and use your audio oscillator to speak to. <laughs> he won't mind being disturbed, yeah. <laughs> uh, Andy, 2E0REE, -E. okay. 2E0REE, -E. okay. Nope, that's wrong. Yep. I think that's right. A little sloppy, but I think that's right. DX Commander. Holy crap. No, that's wrong. No. Oh, blah, blah. Screwed that up. Okay. DX Commander. Callum. That's sloppy, but th that X is sloppy, but I got it. X. 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 Nope. X. There it is. Okay. That's a lot of DAWs in a row for MZ, M zero M. There it is. M zero MCX. Whew. Goodness. Okay, Kyle, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to recognize your call sign next time I hear it, hopefully. Nope. Gosh. <laughs> Messed up the Z, but it was there. There you go. AA0Z. I practiced for over one year and got to 18 words meant to pass my general in 1976. No, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're doing great. You're on the road to being a CW op. Yeah, you're getting better already. Yeah. So practice, 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 practice. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know. Aaron, I don't mind making a fool of myself. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. So uh, go to uh, Long Island CW Club. Yep. Uh, or learn learn CW online. Yeah, you know you know Sterling used to do some videos for that. Um, uh, learn CW online. He did a few uh, live streams in there, and and those were good. I thought those were done really well. I haven't listened to those in a while, but he, when he was doing them live, I did. Uh, let's see. Is Kyle's call in CW a fistful? I don't I don't get that. I don't get that. So, okay. Um, let's see. Um, what was that? I'll do it again. Nope, screw that last one up. Mm-hmm, practice is the key, correct. Morse Ninja. <laughs> you got it, Charlie. <laughs> Please copy. PSC. Is that real? Is that actually used? I know we laugh about that when people say it verbally, but, you know, I mean, do you actually use PSC CPY in... Uh, in uh um do you actually use that when you're out, out when you're out on an activation do you actually use that 
Have you tried morsel? No. I don't know what morsel is. Um, fisting is to pound a straight key. I don't have a straight key. You need to send to Kyle A0Z. Please come. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was doing that. It's good. So. P-S-E-K. Please QSL. Long Island CW, great club. Yep. There are a lot of abbreviations they use to shorten words. Yeah, I've, I've heard that before. I, I don't know. Um, please QRS, yeah. <laughs> please QRS. I'll probably be using that one some. Yeah. N3JW says he uses please copy. That's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, so according to Adam, all I need to call him is this. That's all I need to to use. Um, that's all I need. If Adam's out doing an a, a soda activation, that's all I need. So, how copy? Okay. HWCPY. I don't know what the question mark is. Uh, I think it's it's either dit dit da da dit dit or it's the, or it's the opposite of that. It's da da dit dit da da. I don't know which one it is. Um. So how copy? So, what is your motivation for learning CW? That's a great question. I answered that at the beginning, but there's a lot more people watching now. So, that's, that's a great question. Well, once you get to a... Once you've been, been a ham for long enough and you like doing HF, CW is just another mode to use. You know, some people... Um, some people bag on DMR or System Fusion or on maybe on FT8. To me, I want to use everything. You know, I've used D-Star. I've used System Fusion. I actually like System Fusion. I didn't like it at first. I thought their setup was kind of wonky at first, but it's kind of grown on me if you do it in a certain way. I always like DMR. You guys should know that. But to me, CW is just another mode to use. I want to be able to go into my potalog and see contacts being made under sideband, digital, which are both there now, and on CW. I want to be able to do some CW um, QRP. QR CW is easier for QRP than sideband. Everything's easier for QRP than sideband is. FT8 is easier for QRP than sideband is. I can make contacts on 5 watts FT8 all day long before I get to 5 watts on CW. But, um, you know, it's just another language to learn. So that's that's my that's my answer to that. That's for me personally. Okay, so question mark is Okay. Nope. There it is. Question mark. Nope. There it is. Okay. Question mark. Blah 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 blah. Um yeah. So there's that. I'm learning to do DX QRP. That's good. CW QRP radios the size of a pack of cigarettes is a good reason. Yeah. Now some people, some people are into that. Some people are into the whole. Um, let's make our pack as lightweight and small as possible, and hike up a mountain with it. And there's, and you know what? I I, I understand the challenge. I don't seem, I don't get the thrill out of doing that as some of these other guys do. I, that's just me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's true. I mean. It's certainly, you know, if you're going on vacation <clears throat> and you want to take something with you to operate and you're like my wife and I and you don't want to check a bag to wherever you're going, especially if you're going to a foreign country, um, then you can uh, pack a, like a little mountain topper QRP transceiver or an, an Elecraft KX-1 
I've always wanted an Elecraft KX1, not because I wanted to learn CW, just because I think they're they're cool looking radios. Um, the the LNR Precision Mountain Topper series, the three bander, the five bander, the little uh, Q QDX. The well, the QDX is, is FT8, but they've got a um, QRP Labs has a model that's Q, that's uh, CW only. Uh, the True SDX does CW. That new FX4C does CW really well. What are you using to get the tone? Do you mean what I'm hearing, what you're hearing in the video? Is that what you're talking about, Steve? Get the tone. A mountain topper. See, I always thought that was cool too. A mountain topper with a 9 volt battery. Yeah, you can buy a regular 9 volt battery and use a mountain topper. And I had one of those radios at one point in time and I sold it because I'm like, I don't know, CW. I'm just going to sell it. I wish I would have kept it. Now, had I known at the time they were going to discontinue that radio, I would have kept it. So I'm sort of kind of maybe a little bit on the hunt for another one of those. But uh, if anyone's got one of those and want to offload and get rid of, let me know. I will I will take it. So that's um, Steve. I guess you weren't here in the beginning. Uh, this is my Heath kit electronic keyer. And that's what that is. And it's got these RCA type ports in the back of it. These composite type RCA ports in the back of it, and I guess, and then one of them says uh, "keyer output," and one of them says "receiver audio." So you could even like you know plug your radio into this and use this speaker, and then I assume you can go from RCA plug to like a quarter inch or an uh, an eighth inch, three point five millimeter plug in, in radios like this to to key it. I I guess you could do that. I. I've never tried to connect this one directly to a radio, but I guess you could do that. So, are you using a practice code oscillator? I don't know what that is. Sorry, I don't. I don't know what that is. Uh, Q C X Mini. That's the one. That's the one I was talking about, Jordan. Yeah, I, there. There's more than one though, isn't there? Don't they make more than one Q R P uh, Q R P Labs C W only radio? I think they do. Um. CW in front of a crowd. Well, that's 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 how we roll here. Yeah, that's how we roll. Now, if you guys want to see some really good CW work, go watch one of Charlie's videos. He is fast. He's like, and he does it left-handed. What kind of what 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 kind of psychopath does CW that fast left-handed? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I'm trying to compliment Charlie, but you know, it probably didn't come out that way. This is uh. Sparkling water, by the way. I'm not drinking beer this early in the day. So, <clears throat> yeah, Charlie does. Uh, Charlie does CW really fast. What did I? Where did I put that video? I think I put that on TikTok. Let's see if I can pull that up. Um, QR code from my app. I think I put that on. I think I put your video on TikTok, Charlie. If I didn't, I need to. I need to. Um, um, nope. Tap the profile on profile. Tap boom. Tap that. Oh, right there. Code to confirm login. Oh, no. I don't know what that means. Huh. I don't know what that means. Okay. Sorry. Uh, accounts. Try again. Okay. I don't know where I put that. Sorry. I can't get into TikTok. I don't think I put it on Instagram. Maybe I did. I did not put it on Instagram. I recorded a vertical video, like an Instagram TikTok Reels, to, uh, Instagram Reels slash TikTok kind of thing, at the Grand Canyon of Charlie doing CW, and I'm wondering what I did with it. So, uh, I don't know what I did with it. Well, 
Uh, no. My Reels, I can't get there from a stupid Facebook. All right. All right, anyway, it's out there somewhere. So y'all go look at my Instagram. I'll put it up on Instagram later. I, I know I've got it. I just don't remember if I posted it. So very cool video of Charlie doing left-handed. Uh, that, that was that drive onto Summit, that one that wasn't up very high, that last one we did. So I'm sure it was on TikTok. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was on TikTok. TikTok.com. Oh, nope, that's not it. I, I should probably just give this up, but I don't know. I was wanting to... Okay, I don't know where it... Okay, I can't get there from... from I don't... <laughs> I can't get there from uh, from this computer right now. I'm not logged in. So, okay. My ringtone on my cell phone is CW. Yeah, I know some people with that. So, there we go. Okay, uh, 45 minutes. Uh, give me some more call signs. I'll do a couple more call signs. We'll, we'll shut this down. Uh, uh, Tom, W4ID, let's do yours. Okay. I think that's right. I think that's right. V O one A W. That's not real. That's not real. Nope. I think that's right. V O one A W. Uh, AC3 IK. AC3 IK. FW, I'm sorry, F4 WBY. Nope. Sloppy. Gosh, I screwed that one up. Okay, start over again. Nope. That's kind of it. That's kind of it. That that was that was real sloppy. AI five DD. That one was easy. Club call, W7LT. Sloppy, but that was there. Okay. Keep practicing. Oh, yeah. Uh, KP3L, Puerto Rico. Yeah, that's it. All right, N uh, N five B W D. There you go. Uh, w four G O G. Uh. Nope. There you go. <laughs> what's up? What's up, DeMarco? There we go. All right. How should you how should you pause between each word and phrase? You know what? I don't know. Just kind of like uh pfft, Kyle. Just kind of like um however you want to send. I I think over time once you get more proficient, that'll get faster. But just, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the answer to that is. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with is what I what would be my answer. Um, let's see. All right, Kyle, here you go.
There you go. That's a lot of DAWs in that call. Sheesh. <clears throat> That's a lot of DAWs in that call. Uh, the numbers are easy to learn. Yeah, we, yeah, I went over those earlier. Numbers are easy to learn. Uh, Chris, I don't understand your question. You're using keys and uh, keys of paddles. I don't know what that. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. I would recommend passing sending with pangrams. Pangrams. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. I'll look that up. I'll look up pangrams. So, anyway, that is the quick and butchering of my CW. Uh, that's, and that's it. So, so, um, no, that's, um, KQ again. Nope. Okay. Try that again. AC5 HWB 73 is those are opposites because it's two DAWs and three dits for seven and no it's not I mean, and then you and then you flip that it's three dits and two DAWs for three so in my mind that seems opposite I don't know maybe it's not 73 so um yeah. 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 Really good. So, <laughs> anyway. uh, that is, uh, that is that. Are you using keys or paddles? Sorry. I'm using this. This is a Heath kit electronic keyer. It's a iambic two paddle system. So that is, that's where we're at there. So <laughs> from this non CW, I sound fantastic. Yeah, I guess I would. Mm -mm. Seven three. I probably um. I probably butchered the three one of those times. So seven three. That should be seven three. Now S M is three dits and two DAWs. So if you go, that's S M. Three is. So it's just a matter of practicing and getting more proficient to where you don't put that space in between the dits and the DAWs. So, but you had it right. SM was dit 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 da da. But yeah, I probably butchered that. <laughs> so we'll see. Hey guys, set, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do more of these. I think we have uh, up to 180 people watching. Got some really good comments in the chat. Um, and I'm going to continue. See, this This is people People were ta commenting earlier about how I'm, I'm brave for putting myself out there. Well, in my mind, here's how my mind works, okay? Now that I've done this once, I'm like, well, I got to keep doing this. I got to keep doing this because I put it up there P2P. That's good, Kyle. I put it up there and I'm like, oh, well, I, I need to do a follow-up on that because people responded to it really well. So I got to keep going. Well, I keep going. I keep learning. I keep practicing and get better. So follow me on my progression of how to do CW. And when I do my first POTA activation with CW, I'll be sure and record that for you guys. So 73 to all. Thanks for joining today. Um, if you're going to watch on Team Replay, put a comment below. Let me know what you think about this series.